All right, so I got my uh, button here out from behind this. Uh, it had been stuck there for a while. And this, unfortunately, I cannot figure out for the life of me how to fix this. So this here is that. And then when I go all the way around, this is this one, I think. I, don't know, I guess I'll find out the next time I use the AC. Um, yeah, next is the radio. So the mic on here, everybody, everybody has been complaining about hearing static when I'm trying to uh, talk to them on the phone. And uh, one person even said it sounds like I'm talking from the inside of a toilet bowl, which is a uh, creative way to <laughs> explain the static. I, I guess they didn't know exactly what it sounded like but yeah this is gonna be not not the most fun thing to do because i stuck this piece of tape here yeah i'm gonna need to like pull all of this out like that i don't even remember oh i ripped it oh well well that's good that's gotta go. Oh, hey, look at that. <laughs> Pulled it out just by pulling the duct tape itself. Oh, man. This car has seen better days. Those better days being before I... Before I bought it, obviously. Oh, dang, I only have one side out here. There's the other side. All right, so the radio. Um, so I have no clue what's wrong with this thing. Um, when I first installed this, I did a test phone call. A person on the other end said everything sounded fine. Oh, I just found this. I think that might be for the clock, which I don't use. Since there is a clock on the head unit itself. Incidentally, when I, uh... I'm just going to disconnect this and try fixing whatever might have gone wrong in here. Um, but yeah, incidentally, when... Well, this is kind of hard with one hand. Uh, I do have a tripod in the back. In fact, I should probably get that. Um... Make things a little bit easier. Definitely need it when I switch to my new phone, which is like eight times the size of this. This is the iPhone 13 mini, for those of you not wondering. Um, yeah, I don't know where my train of thought is outside of trying to unstick this piece of electrician's tape. Those of you with motion sickness, I'm not going to mention that there's going to be movement on this video. So, uh, if if you know you deal with motion sickness, sorry, I guess. Uh, and all of these, these all look fine to me. Maybe it has something to do with connecting this to this. Although it's, uh, if I remember correctly, when I was doing this, one of them has to be silver and the other one has to be like gold on the wire port now it could be that that's sticking out there um i guess i'll throw another piece of tape on there I'm gonna put this. Put the phone balance the phone like that um, yeah, this one, I should really just take the tape off of these and just re-tape what's on there. Yeah, as you can see, one, one side is indeed silver, the other side is gold. Well, more of a copper, really. But I think what I'm going to wind up doing here is to just undo the tape redo the twisting and see if that fixes anything um 
so I don't really, I don't really know if this will work. But yeah, that, that wasn't even touching on the bottom, so I need to fix that. Twist all of these. Be good if I had those little combiner caps in my car still, but uh, I do not. Wound up throwing them out years ago. I'm like, yeah, I'll never need these again, and uh, I need those again. Right. Take that there. That can go around. Doing a little bit of a different type of taping. Um, instead of just wrapping it around like this, I want to like twist it so that the wires, um, the wires are together instead of having them like that. You'll see what I mean once I get this tape off. Well, for those of you with eyes, you would have seen what I did to that one. Should probably put some more tape onto that. Oh wow, this one had two pieces of tape. But, um, yeah, I'm doing this a little bit smarter than last time. It's the middle of the day where I am. So I'm not doing this in a Walmart parking lot. I am doing this in a parking lot. A park parking lot. Yeah, so I did the same thing there. Um, maybe I just didn't twist it tight enough. So I gotta undo all of these, line them up, twist them again and uh, hope for the best. Might as well throw some prayers in there too. Somehow I don't think this thing, oh, I had dropped it. Yeah, somehow I don't think this thing is worth praying over because, I mean, yeah, it's got better sound than the Pioneer somehow, but it's uh, not, a particularly um, not a particularly high-end thing and I got it for about $35 so right. that, that? yeah that'll hold all right so I did green I did purple I'm gonna do purple next the other purple and, you know, I think just for the heck of it, I'm going to try and connect these two gold ones. Even though this one's orange and black, that one's orange and white. Um, I'd like to say it's for the cam. No, it isn't. <laughs> I was going to say it's for the camera, but then I realized this thing does not have a camera because it's just cheap and old school. And it's like the type of head unit that you would buy um, that I bought since my old one, which was expensive, died. It's just a, a cheapo, um, wow, three pieces of tape on this. What was I doing with my life? Um, but yeah, that one, that one's just really pulled out, wow. Yeah, this job that I had, my last job, Nobody, like, I was talking to them about doing this. I'm like, yeah, the head unit, blah, blah, whatever. Like, whatever I had to do with it. Um, and they were like, what's a head unit? And my guess is that they thought it was something, you know, naughty. And it absolutely isn't. And I thought that head unit was a very common term. But apparently outside of the... Uh, side of the car scene people just don't know what a head unit is this is a head unit oh this is cabling excuse me this is cabling for a head unit head unit is this thing that you can't really see um because i have my phone precariously balanced on my steering wheel right now. This has an open end, but I think that'll be okay. Um, I did purple, I did green. I'm gonna do the other green one. Yeah, 
One of the things that I don't like about installing a new head unit is that you have to do all of this wire splicing, which, you know, I don't mind doing it, but the thing that I hate is that it takes forever. So I'm planning that however long this video is, um, that I'll be spending at least an hour just redoing all of my uh, messed up wires. So, and hopefully I can get this done quicker than an hour. So that's, that's kind of a long time for the attention spans of uh, many people, myself included, unless I find it really interesting or, you know, what, you ha what have you. Um, so yeah, I am in the Northeast of the United States, and uh, this summer, we are not getting a good start to our summer out here. Um, like it's just been freezing cold today, it's like 60 degrees, and uh, I like to say that we're having an Australian summer, because in Australia right now, it is winter, and it's cold. And how do I know this? Because I, when I was a kid, I went to Australia with my family uh, several times, and it was always during their winter. So kids are in school, and it's freezing, and it's it's not it's it's not the most pleasant. But we did get to go to Darwin at one point. I remember that being reasonably warm. Um, but places like Sydney, freezing cold. All right, so that is that side is done. I'm gonna move on to this side. Little stupid pieces of tape. I really don't know why I put so much tape on this when I only need one piece of tape. Um, possibly because I couldn't see what I was doing because it was dark. Uh, I might annotate uh, and put link to the video where I actually bought this head unit and installed it in the parking lot. So that might be amusing to some of you. I don't know. I thought it was pretty funny. So it's like, who does this? <laughs> Just me. Um, so the other people are doing whatever they do on their work night, and I'm sitting in a parking lot doing this. Okay, I'll do that. Pull these cables so that they're also trying to wind these around tighter than before and fold. There's that piece of tape. Oh, that's too far down. This park is open currently, um, and put that around. Let's hook it around this way. Nope, let's hook it there. Kind of sloppy in the technique. Might have to put that extra piece of tape on there. Hopefully not. Yeah, I think that looks okay.
These would be like little pieces of tape that I used. I think I might have been running out of tape at this point. So I did run out of the black tape. And then I replaced it with the red tape. Red tape. It's like... What is that? Like when they have a murder crime scene? They put red tape. Alright, that one's actually pretty good. Um, don't really have to bend it either because it's short. I'm going to bend it anyway. I say with all the weird weather we've been having lately with just 90 degrees one day and then 50 degrees the next I think I'm starting to develop some sort of cold from all this yes, I am feeling like absolute garbage today okay that one's done this one I feel like I just did this Now that one's pretty good too. I think I just did that one. So I definitely did blue. Oh, wow. Yeah, that one's just... Maybe this is the mic, because that one is just super loose. Yeah, let's see what we've got here. Again, with my like three or four layers of tape on this like what is this what is this uh that one yeah that needs to be better fortunately i can just sort of like pull it upwards and twist it Yeah, if anybody uh, actually watches this through, um, thank you for watching. Uh, and, um, you have a very strong constitution to keep watching this all the way through. Especially since I don't edit my stuff usually in my videos. There's another one that's sort of not pushed up high enough. So there's several of those um, that could be contributing to why people think I'm calling them from the inside of a toilet. Um, this is this piece. Too well, did it? Could I 
Benito the Broken Corolla. I do reckon that this car, when it does meet its demise, that it will be from an electrical failure. Not because of what I'm doing here, but uh, I think there's something going on with the battery. So that is beyond my extremely limited range of knowledge of vehicles. Yeah, that's just falling apart there. It's the end of the tape. Some of these I can't even find the end of the tape, which is a pain. I think this is the end of the tape. But I'm like scraping at it. There it comes. Yeah, that one's a little messed up too. Wow, a little bit. <laughs> it's quite a bit messed up. Alright. Now, why is this side light yellow and this side is white? I'm guessing it's because the yellow part is part of the the car. The car is from 2008, so that is some 2008 wire wrapping cable insulation. trying to do this as quick as possible because I don't really want to be sitting in the park all day. I mean, sitting in the park is perfectly fine, but sitting in the park doing car shit is just, <laughs> is just kind of dumb. Um, all right, that, that needs more tape. I'll try and make it so that all of these little points are flat. Good. Did I do red already? Uh, I think I did red. Let's see. Yeah. Let's get this tape go down a bit. Like so. And yeah, God bless you if you're still watching this. see what the record time is. Yeah, 23 minutes. Almost 24 minutes long now. Uh, a piece of tape's kind of shit the bed, so to say. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's, that has to be re-twisted. a long piece of silver cable. Maybe I'll just twist it around the top of the copper wire. And I can put the tape over both of those. Without losing that piece. Yeah, these are my choices of uh, tapes. <laughs> They're all too small. So I guess I'm gonna be cutting. Say a length about yay long should be good. If the scissors decides to actually work, there we go. Stick this somewhere. All right.
Well, it should be interesting testing this to see if the uh, call quality is any better on the other end. After I have all of these things fixed. in a rush last time to try and get home so I had work the next day and uh, yeah I think it took me until midnight to actually get all of this stuff done and it was kind of a crazy day at work the next day well, with the sort of work I was doing it was a crazy day every day this customer service is just no joke. Um, I think I'll put another piece of tape around that. Yeah, fortunately, I can reuse a lot of this tape. And I'm seeing an issue here. That's, uh, that's coming apart there. this around. Okay. I think I just did that. Yeah, this one's pretty messy, so. Well, if I can get this done, put back in, tested, um, then a little bit over 30 minutes, that would be great. And this is the last one that I have to do, aside from those orange ones, which I'm going to uh, do the same thing to. So I don't think anything bad is going to happen when I do that. Um, and I don't know what's going to happen in all honesty, but uh, I don't think anything too bad would happen. Hopefully this will fix the whining noise that I hear. Like, let's say I don't have my music on first thing when I get in the car and I start it up. I hear this radio just making um, like a pretty obnoxious whining noise that gets louder when I speed up <laughs> and uh, it, it just continues like there's a lot of dead zones around here for data service so um, I wound up listening to the whining of the uh, stereo here could use some more tape I think or better tape even yeah. I think I stuck this together too close yeah all right Well, it's Sunday here and now. Um, so anybody who watches this in comments, what did you do for your Sunday? So I am sure it wasn't this. This is like the type of insanity that I do when I uh, don't really have much on my schedule at my free time.
Okay. Let me check these real quick. That one. This one. I'm not thrilled with the job that I did on this. Yeah, like, what even is this? This is just a mess. Okay. Really not feeling that gap there. Let's see if I can fix it. these Alright, so quick check of these. Don't like how that tape's coming up again. Some of the tape is down here. Uh, okay. That is all of the cables that are now connected. 
damn tape's still falling off. All right, that should be good enough. I'm gonna plug this thing back in, which end goes where? So that end goes to the radio, so this end must go to this end. And that end goes to the radio. This is that. Okay, that looks like it's working. So, I'm going to push this back in here. The radio worked in my car, then I could test that, but uh, it does not work. That's because I took off the antenna because it was ugly. I'm wondering what this mystery piece of tape that I'm now wrapping is. I guess I'll find out sooner or later. Yeah, so that's the video. What are you guys still doing here? <laughs>